Pirates already with their game faces on as they get off the bus. Got to be geared up for these road games. The city of Denver is in full motion tonight as we get set to bring you the action from the Pepsi Center. Hello, basketball fans. You've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. In this game, we'll see the Denver Nuggets against the Houston Rockets. With Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll be hearing from David Aldridge on the sideline. And let's now take a look at some of the numbers for him. And, and when it comes to his scoring, he's enjoying a fantastic run. He's brought his points per game average up thanks to the work he's done in the past 10. And maybe he's got another big one in store tonight. And with pregame routines coming to an end, we're just about ready for our tip-off. First, though, let's get a report from the sideline and say hello to David Alden. Kevin, thanks very much. Nikola Jokic loves to pass. He said an assist makes two people happy instead of just one. So it's as simple as that. And that simplicity and creative joy is part of what makes the big man tick. Jokic said, it helps me having fun out there. It's a different way to approach the game. And that makes him one of a kind in this league, Kevin. Sure is. Thanks, D.A. Well, the outcome tonight, Greg, could come down to the big men up front. You know, versatility will be key. The front court that can be physical but also pass it, stretch the floor, will likely be the victor. Here's the starting group for Houston. They've got Christian Wood. Porter is out there with Avery Bradley. Then it's Olenek, go. and it's Tate, and it's the small forward. And for the Nuggets... Gordon out there with Michael Porter. And it's Rivers. And it's Nikola Jokic. Passes it to Rivers. Kicks it out to Gordon. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Bradley. The pass to Tate. Olenek inside. He's guarded by Rivers. And the basket by Olenek. Yeah, Olenek on the inside, just staying active and hitting the glass hard. Outside, Porter. Rivers surveying the D. That's good from Porter on the assist by Rivers. And an efficient start here offensively, working it inside for the easy two. Porter kicks to Bradley. Denver grabs the miss. Last time they met was right here, and they came out with the win. And the last time they faced this club, rebounding was their big advantage. Porter Jr. moving the ball well. Nice to have a wing player help be a facilitator. Now, here's Olenek. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against the Trailblazers in Portland. It good. Almost perfect in the game to start three of four. Rockets have gone just one of four to get this game started. Bradley kicks to Porter. To the paint. Fade away. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Olinick's got his second basket of the game. Olinick can be a gifted scorer and this time working from the mid range. And Kevin Porter Jr., all the issues you'd expect from a rookie, Greg. Unforced errors, a few too many fouls and turnovers. But as you and I were talking, and as the coaches told us, the upside is huge. I tell you, Kev, his first step with the ball in his hands is incredible. Can burst by defenders like they're waiting at a bus stop. Once he matures, he's going to be a handful to deal with. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. Poked loose. And it's the Rockets on the break. Porter's running. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And Bradley plays with a pretty decent force from the two-guard spot. And that's how he gets calls like this. The Rockets shooting their first free throws of the game. And taking a look at their free throw statistics on the season, uh, right around 74%. Yeah. 
That free throw good from Avery Bradley. Well, he's an effective two-way player, is Avery Bradley, and he's worked very hard. You remember his early years with the Celtics, just continuing to improve to make sure he has a place in this league. Both free throws good from Avery Bradley. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Outside Porter. Pass to Jokic. Campazzo guarded by Porter. Wood with the block. Here's Bradley. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Inside, Jokic. And Jokic slams it in. Uh, Jokic is a big center. Tough to contain close to the basket. That's a nice throwdown. Porter passes to Tate. Amazing finish with a hand right in his face. The Nuggets have gone five of seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Pass to Jokic. Porter with the steal. Bradley deciding where to go with it. Outside Porter. To the left wing. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Gordon. Now Jokic. He had a 30-point outing their last game against the Hornets in Charlotte. Well, the thing he did most was cluster the defense. I really liked how he showed no fear and constantly attacked the lane and drew contact, which in turn got him the free throws. The wide open look here for Wood. And that one goes long. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. At this point late in the season, Brent, any danger that contenders that might be coasting can't flip the switch for the playoffs? Something I really have never felt, Kevin. It's, it's matchup driven when it comes down to playoff time. And I remember doing some work and, and looking break. into teams going into the Two playoffs shots. and did they need to be hot? The numbers say no. Free throw drops for Rivers. I think it's been kind of cool to watch Austin Rivers play under his dad, Doc, a shifty combo guard with fantastic skills. Brooks checked in for the Rockets. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Rockets. Four-point game. Both teams deciding to change it up. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. The defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. And the Rockets with possession here. Brown outside. Five to shoot. From past the arc. Denver grabs the miss. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. Remarkable consistency from deep. You can't count on that every game, especially on the road. Yeah, the interesting part was they kept firing away in that game, but the defense didn't make much of an adjustment. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. The Rockets have gone two for two in the game at the line. And the first one at the line is good. Yeah. 
and Brown drops them both. Last outing for the Rockets, it was a loss to the Trailblazers in Portland. Jokic with it, providing around 26 and a half points a game, rarely has an off night. His touch from mid range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Defense is as tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. A nice shot by Rivers. Well, the deep ball accuracy is much more consistent now from Austin Rivers, learning how to be an effective shooter at this level. Now here is Augustine. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Portland. Felt like he had a sense in that game that the defense was being over-aggressive, and he tried to take advantage of that. He continually frustrated them throughout the night and got to the free throw line. Jamichael Green, he's checked in for Nikola Jokic. And a switch here also for Houston. House is checked in. Here's Millsap. The shot, no good. And the Rockets take it the other way. Brooks kicks to Brown. They get it back. Not going to go that time. The Nuggets leading by five. Gordon with it. He's picked up by Brooks. And here comes Brown leading the fast break. It's House outside. Harrison with the rebound. Nuggets have gone 7 of 13, just over 50% from the floor. Some good looks. Rivers can't get it to go. Houston's gone 0 of 4 from three point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. Brown, good. Now that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Now here's Gordon. A 17 point game for him in the win against the Hornets in Charlotte. Headshot off. Rockets trail by three. They get it again. That's tipped. He'll zap down low. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Given how skilled Millsap is in the post, sometimes you have no choice but to foul him and hope he misses the shot. Greg, you were a feared ball hawk in your playing days, and I know you see similar players playing today. No doubt about that, uh, Take a break. Cap. You know, Take a Ben break. Simmons, a player 6'10 with, with those hands. He's incredible to watch on that. And how about Fred Van Vliet, though? He's a guy, they say he's 6'1. I don't know, but. He gets into you and competes, man, and that's the beauty of our game. You know, you can be as big as the trees and, and have a major impact, or you can be one of those little fellas, as they like to call us, and be equally as effective on the floor. Well, like the Chris Balls, the Patrick Beverleys, there are a lot of those guys that play the, the ball Bulldogs. like you did so well. Yeah, right. Great, great play. And so Paul Millsap nails both of them. Well, hard work pays off, and there might not be a better example if you look that up in the dictionary. There could very well be a picture of Paul Millsap. He's made himself into a star in the NBA. Now here's Gordon. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. Here's Augustine. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. I have a chance to look at some stats for Rivers. How's the last month of basketball been for him? Averaging nine points per game, two assists, and two rebounds. We know that he can come up with the occasional big play, but his overall numbers haven't been impressive. There is a bit of a feeling they're all looking to him to step up, and they know he's capable of doing it right now, just, just not getting it done. The first free throw is good. Both free throws, good from Augustine. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Brooks against Gordon. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Gordon's got six. And, and there's just so much athleticism to Gordon's game. Good luck trying to contain him inside. Augustine passes to Brown. Down to five on the shot clock. Green with the block. 
And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. And it's Millsap with the ball for Denver. They lead by seven. And after some time over in France and, and the G League, Jermichael Green catching on as a steady NBA veteran. In Memphis, the Grizzlies played him over Zach Randolph for some time. He's a guy that just keeps working and has found a niche now as his three-point shot has found more consistency in the NBA. Here's Rivers after the Rockets pick up three. Rockets with the rebound. House has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. And now just a two-point nugget lead. Here's Harrison, headed by Augustine. Right side green. Knocked away. Lays it up off the glass. And the Nuggets lead by four. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Here's Augustine. Good work defensively by Milsen. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. Yep, that one goes. And now a six-point nugget lead. And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. by Green. Houston needs to get a shot. Augustine from outside and another three for Houston. That's a nice play. Getting the separation he needs for a clean look. Yeah, defense has got to be a little bit better, especially when he's looking the fire from that distance. Count that bucket. Gordon's got eight points. Yeah, well done to finish that one off. And so it's Aaron Gordon making things happen for Denver. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And we caught it before the game with Nikola Jokic, who had a few thoughts about how to help his team succeed. Selfless. I mean, you need to took your uh, pride, you took your ego out, just to be part of the team and do whatever you need to do to be the best uh, player in your role. Greg, there are areas of Jokic's game where he probably is the best in the world. I can't think of a center with better floor vision or better passing ability. His positioning, his angles, his ability to use his size to maximize effectiveness, all at an elite level. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And what stands out to you from the Nuggets in this one? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So on the floor for Denver, they've got Harrison. Paul Millsap out there with Porter. And there's JaVale McGee. And so he hits both. Greg, not all drafts are the same in terms of talent. 2019 was a year to remember. No doubt about it. I mean, transcendent talent at the top. You think of Zion and, and Ja, both could be future league MVPs. And the irony is that those two guys were teammates in high school. Go figure. Yeah, go figure is right. Stolen by McGee. Three-pointer, another three for Denver. No way he's going to pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. Here's Augustine. Basket made just his second this contest. He's two for seven now. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Millsap against Augustine. 
Five on the clock. On loads. And it's off the back rim. No good. And here comes House. Leading the fast break. Passes it to Tate. And here's Augustine. He's got nine. No good with the wing jumper. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. That's his first first throw foul. This is his first free throw of the game. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And the Nuggets making a change here. Jokic is checked in. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Rockets trail by six. Here is Porter. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Olenek. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Well, Olenek's a big guy. He's not going to slow down. And right there, playing physical. Now the pass to Jokic. To the inside. Campazzo. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Denver shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. And, and they've done some really nice work at the foul line. Knocking down 80 percent. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. And he makes both free throws. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Porter dishes to Bradley. Six to shoot. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic has got five rebounds tonight. Outside Porter. Harrison passes to Jokic. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Count it. Jokic has got the lead up to eight now for the Nuggets. Well, Jokic is big. Jokic is long, and he does a great job there of corralling that ball and taking advantage of his length. Here's Wood. That one, no good. Good defense by Jokic. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first first The Nuggets have been a perfect eight of eight at the line. Taking two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. There's been a lot of talk about Michael Porter Jr. and the way that he plays and how athletic he is. How is he doing that on the vegan diet? For some, it works well. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Porter kicks to Wood. Pass to Bradley. Denver leading by 10. Jokic hits the three-point bomb. Jokic has got five points in the quarter. He's doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Offensive rebound. Nuggets have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. And the slam dunk by McGee. 
Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Blazers. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. Well, let's hope there isn't any carryover from that letdown in this one. trend over the last few months for him and the rebounding contributions have been on the uptick over the last few months he, he's definitely appeared to have made a concerted effort to really impact the game more and more with his work on the backboard Tate guarded by Porter and here's Wood outside sinks the three-pointer Wood's got five now yeah, it's such a sweet three-point stroke there, and it can really open things up inside because as good as he shoots it, it forces the opposing bigs to have to step out on the perimeter. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Rockets trail by 12, and Christian Wood undrafted in 2015 out of UNLV. Wait a minute, that's your alma mater. <laughs> hey, talk about his game. What do you like about Christian Wood's game? Well, first I'll start with he went to UNLV. Uh, he's long, he's lean. He, I think he really fits the modern NBA as a small ball center. Able to hold his own on the glass and space the floor. And the first one at the line is good. So Bradley nails both of them. Hey, guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. Here's Jokic. Can't hit that one. The Rockets go the other way with it. Now, here's Bradley. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. And three chances on that possession. But they just couldn't find a way to score. And he gets the bucket. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. Porter looking it over. Takes it from 10, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. And if you keep working around on offense to find the mismatch, you can find easy points. Now, Jokic. He's got nine over quarter. Jokic, no good. McGee against Porter. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by McGee. Green, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Gordon comes in for Shaquille Harrison. Olenek the pass to Tate. Shot clock at six. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. And taking a look here at some stats for Gordon. Breaking down his play since the All-Star break. He's averaging 11 points a game, five rebounds, and two assists. And he's done his share of the work for the team, definitely making an impact. Well, the numbers, if you look at them, impressive all the way around, and he's not letting the team down. Jokic against Wood. Gordon kicks to Jokic. No good from outside. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. 
And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Denver leading by 10. Gordon, count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Austin Rivers, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Brooks checked in for Houston. One shot. And there's no question that Gordon is a talented player, and it's clear he wants to be a star in this timeout, league. Timeout. timeout call, the Rockets. And Coach Gordon. can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Break in the action, we can see the top passing teams in the league, courtesy of the 2K leaderboard. Number five, the Nuggets. And, and a team that shares the ball will create opportunities for the right player to score. On defense, Denver. Shoot that. I'm on the right here. Brooks, the best to Porter, kicks it to Olenek. Here's Wood, just five on the clock. <laughs> It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jokic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And Green with the basket on the assist by Jokic. Jokic has got three assists now in this one. Brooks with it. Outside Brent. Over Gordon. And Bradley gets it to go. Bradley's got four points this quarter. Yeah, and Bradley right now locked in, not allowing the defense to do anything to alter his confidence. Here's Jokic. Porter pulls it in. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. No, he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you want him taking that kind of shot. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Outside, Porter. Dishes it to Bradley. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. Bradley around the basket knows he's going to face some force. And that time got inside and forced the defense's hand. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. An 80% shooter. The work he's done at the line this season, one word, solid. And the first one drops. Paul Millsap is checked in for Nikola Jokic. He doesn't get the second one. Denver leading by 14. It's hauled in by Brown. Oh, that's a golden opportunity to finish on the break, and he blows it. Completely lost focus. You can't get two steps ahead. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. Now here's Brooks. Some nice passing there by Houston. Gordon against Bradley. From deep. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. 
It's getting late in the season. Let's see how the standings are out west. We'll look at the Nuggets. They've had a great season, and we'll look to extend that into the playoffs. And, of course, Houston, right now, quite a ways down below. And, you know, Houston, they're going to stumble towards the finish line this season with the playoffs nowhere near a possibility. And you have to wonder just how different this team will look next season from players to possibly coaches, maybe every level of the organization. Houston making a switch. Augustine's checked in. DJ Augustine. Rockets on defense. They trail by 16. Composo. That's another miss. Number four. He's two for six shooting. And so Green will bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Some solid defense from Brown. Houston's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter, so far. and it's good for two. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. Now, here's Green. 11 points for him in that last game against the Hornets in Charlotte. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. Yeah, looking up at the scoreboard, guys, that's his third foul, and his coach has to consider now sitting him down. Nuggets on D. It's a 16-point game. Augustine, that's good. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Gordon against Augustine. And it's Gordon missing. Yeah, I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him, and he should have just kept it simple. Augustine against Rivers. Yeah, easy call. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. And he knocks down the first one. The Nuggets making a switch here. Harrison's checked in. Both free throws, good from Augustine. Denver leading by 12. Outside Gordon. Shoots over Brown, misses off the right iron. Houston's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Plays it in off the pretty alley-oop. Oh, Kevin, get a load of that one. Take that play and put it in the alley-oop textbook, boy. Uh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. And so it's Denver going into the break with a 10-point lead. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Here with Coach Mike Malone. How has ball movement opened up things for you offensively? Every game we have where we get into a one-on-one -on -one game, over-dribbling, not passing, we become very easy to guard. Uh, the good thing about tonight is the ball is moving. We're trying to make plays for each other. Uh, when we move the ball, we get high percentage shots, which is all we can ask for. Thanks very much for your time, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. What a start it was for Aaron Gordon. He had 13 points, three rebounds, 
Well, what can you say about superstar big man Nikola Jokic? Jamal Murray said there's really nothing he can't do other than jump. <laughs> ah, how about that, Jamal Murray? That's, right. That's a good one, but guess what? A lot of people can jump in great players. Nowadays, it's all about skills. Dribbling, shooting, definitely passing. The Joker does it all. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the Joker? He loves it. But it, it, his playmaking stands out. That to me is what it is. You know, guys have been able to score in this league for playmaking. But what's that? What's that? Laugh again? <laughs> Man, that's a no-brainer. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. We gotta like what DJ Augustine has done in this game. Something has kicked him into gear tonight as he has done work on the offensive end. I think he's enjoying it too. So rare to have an offensive explosion from him. You know his teammates are loving that as well. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball though left in this one. Rockets trail by 10, and so in the game for the Rockets. Porter is out there with Avery Bradley. Then it's Olenek. Then it's Christian Wood. And it's Tate in at the three, the small forward. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. One shot. And that one falls for Olenek. And Kelly Olenek, one of those guys who has been very accepting of his role. You give him a bigger load, he's fine with the playing time. And if he has to come off the bench to produce, he's okay with that too. Pass to Porter. Out to the wing. Campazzo. And he drops in the layup off the glass. He's got 11. I like that. Staying alert. Rivers keeping his head up to find the open man. Bradley against Rivers. Bradley kicks to Porter. Denver grabs the miss. At one point, they led by 16. They've got the Timberwolves ahead of them next in Minneapolis. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. Count that bucket. And now an 11-point nugget lead. Well, you know, Porter can expect this. Defenses are going to try to be physical with him, try to get in his head. And it's blocked by Gordon. The third quarter has not started well. Just one of four. Let's it go from deep. Rockets with the rebound. Woods got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. It's Bradley on the wing. Seven points in the game. Pass to Tate. Rocket six. Now Olenek. He's guarded by Rivers. And the basket by Olenek. Well, Olenek at his size is big enough to get the job done. Outside Gordon. Inside Rivers. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And not wasting any time here. Kicking their offense right back in the gear. That's three of four from the field. Porter finds Wood. Bradley against Rivers. And it's sent back by Jokic. Yeah, you like when Jokic is this active on the defensive end. More blocks, please. Out of nowhere, Gordon just soaring in there. And that athleticism carries him straight to the hoop. Well, we know, Greg, that Jokic is such a unique talent at that center position. Young player already top 10 in career triple doubles. How about the most triple doubles ever by a foreign player? You think of the great skilled European big man. Jokic, arguably the most skilled of them all. It's hauled in by Wood. Wood's got 11 rebounds in the game. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. 
Olenek showing off that he can drive on the defense to create that kind of action. JaVale McGee is checked in for Denver. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And you, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. And that one falls for Olenek. And so Olenek nails both of them. Well, a big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Now here's Rivers. 11 points in the game. Jokic high post. Gets it to go from 18 feet away. Jokic has got 11 points. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Porter passes to Brent. Here's Olenek and block. That one goes careening off the glass. Rivers passes to McGee and the slam dunk by McGee. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Outside Brent. The pass to Tate. Off target from three-point range. Well, he definitely forced that shot, guys. He had plenty of time to adjust himself and kick the ball out and look for a better shot. Have to give credit to the defense there, too. Here is Porter. Michael Porter making his last shot. Porter kicks to Bradley. That shot, no good. Excellent D that time there from McGee. This feels like it snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. And it's time for an injury report. Let's get an update on Aaron Gordon. David Aldridge, what's the status? Thanks, Kevin. Well, I just talked with Denver's head athletic trainer. He told me that he got poked in the eye, and because of it, he can't really see out of it currently. Good information, David. He's certainly been on our minds. Now, at least, uh, Greg, we have a little more clarity. Yeah, now they have the information they need to take the best course of action. Everybody wishing the best for him. We all know how badly he wants to be out there playing alongside his teammates and competing. Now here is McGee. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Pass to Bradley. Tate guarded by Porter. Tate, the pass to Olenek, and it's sent back by Jokic. Right side, Porter. He kicks to Rivers. Campazzo, guarded by Porter. Denver needs to get off the shot. Jokic with the bucket. Yeah, and it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And so it's Porter bringing it up time now out, for Houston. Out. Trailing by 19. Now a timeout called by Houston. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. Scoring from the wing is a necessity in the NBA, and that tells you a little bit about the value of these guys, the highest-scoring small forwards in the league since the All-Star break. Third is Michael Porter. 
a lot of the NBA's most explosive players man that small forward position and you're looking at a pretty good collection of them right there. I don't think in terms of offense there can be any more potent group of players in the league. Having one of them on the wing means having someone that can carry a team offensively for extended periods of time whenever necessary. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. The defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Shot clock at six. Here's Brown. An active player who just takes pride in his defense. Porter is solid at contesting shots with that reach. And that one good. Rivers has got 13. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. They swipe it. Here's Harrison. Lays it in off the breakaway. Yeah, it's been about the fast break. Been real kind to him here early. And they are clicking in transition. Brooks, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And a moment here to look at some of the stats for Jokic. Sixth in assists, ninth in rebounding, and ranked among the top ten in scoring. He can fill it up with the best of them. And his floor awareness is undeniable. As you pointed out, top ten in assists, and he's great at drawing the defense oh, and making break. the perfect take pass and stride. Two shots. First one falls for them. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Green, he's checked in for Nikola Jokic. And both free throws good for Brooks. The Nuggets leading by 21. Outside Porter. Unable to get that one. Some solid defense from Brown. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Up high to stuff the alley oop. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break. Kicks it to Augustine. Brooks feeling it out a bit. Augustine, no luck. Denver's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Here's Harrison. Pass to Millsap. Back to Harrison. Tries again. And there's the play inside by Millsap. And the Nuggets lead by 21. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power for it, but outstanding and rising up off the ground. Now here's Rivers. 13 points in the game. Here's Porter. Off target on the 15-footer. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. The Nuggets making a switch here. Gordon's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. And here are the Nuggets now. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Back to Harrison. That's good. And it's Millsap with the assist. Harrison's got six. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And it's blocked by Gordon. 
No, I wouldn't test Gordon with that vertical and length. Please try someone else. That one go. Just count it. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Now here is Augustine. 15 points in the game. Green with the rebound. A minute 42 left in the third. Millsap kicks to Harrison. Back to Millsap. That shot, no good. Some solid defense from Brown. It's a struggle for him tonight, but if they can make this lead hold up, he can just chalk this up as one of those nights. He's gone six of six from the free throw line. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Augustine. Free throws good from Augustine. 115 left in the third. Outside Porter. Campazzo, he's covered by Brown, misses the layup. From 18 feet away, and it's Denver with the rebound. Millsap's got his fourth rebound in this one. That one's good by Porter. And good decision making with the ball in his hands for Paul Millsap. That's a terrific feat. Rockets trail by 21. And here's Augustine. 17 points in the game. And it's sent back by Millsap. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out rebound. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Gordon inside. Brown on him. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. This trip is his second to the free-throw line in this one. That free-throw good from Gordon. Here's Augustine taking a look at his stats. He's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Shoots the three and no good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's Denver finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We'll get right back to the action when we return. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Bill Zapp and Jokic, the big men. Then it's Aaron Gordon. Then it's Michael Porter. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Jokic passes to Porter. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Christian Woods checked in for Augustine.
And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. Passes it to Wood. Six to shoot. Looking to get it going. And he lays it up and in. Well, if you're giving up that much height, the only thing that you can do as a defender is to foul him. There's the pass to Naji. To the middle. Here's Porter. Yep, that one goes. Porter's got 13 points in the second half. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Brown kicks to Brooks. Down low. Here's Wood, and he uses the glass on the layup. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Astonaji. To the paint. Here's Morris. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. And Aaron Gordon gets the whistle that time. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. Bowl, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Here is Jeffries, covered by Morris. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it just feels a lot bigger. Gordon against Wilson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And the athleticism Gordon has poses so many problems for defenders, especially when he's looking to score from there. At the line for two. Free throw good, Gordon. Denver making a switch here. McGee's checked in, and the Rockets making a change here as well. Avery Bradley, he's checked in for Daniel House. So one for two that time at the stripe. The Rockets have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Here's Bradley. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on JaVale McGee. Second first team foul. Shooting for Houston. Avery Bradley. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And free throw good from Avery Bradley. Harrison's checked in for Gordon. And so Bradley nails both of them. The Nuggets have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Rockets shooting terribly up to this point, just 30%. Some ramshackle offense play there. At the line for the Rockets, Aikman, Jeffrey. Two shots. Shooting two. A free throw drops for Jeffries. So he gets them both. And Morris has got the ball here for the Nuggets. Pass to Bull. Here's Chancho. Now here is McGee. 
Six on the shot clock. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Brandley kicks to Porter. Outside Brent. Passes to Olenek. Six to shoot. Over Rivers. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Well, Olenek hits perimeter shots, so that's the advantage. Put him out there in space, and hopefully he knocks it down. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Denver making a switch here. John Charles checked in. Rockets have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. The pass to Tate. Quarter outside. Here's Wood. Olinick trying to break loose. Wood with the bucket. That gives him the double double. 11 points and 12 rebounds. Outside Millsap. The dish to Rivers. It's stolen by Brandley. Outside Porter to the middle. Here's Olenek. That's in. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Here's Millsap, and Millsap slams it in. Wow, Millsap not known for his dunking, but the anchor man getting up high on that one. Now Porter, down low. Wood can't hit. From downtown, it doesn't go for him. The Rockets go the other way with it. Outside, Porter. Pass to Olenek. Shot clock at six. Yep, it counts. Olenek's got six in the quarter. And this is all coming from Kelly Olenek in attack mode. Rivers against Bradley. Pass to Chanshaw. Here's Rivers. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Avery Bradley. The line for your Nuggets, Austin Rivers. Two shots. Two. The free throw drops for Rivers. The Nuggets making a switch here. Good on both. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Rockets. Pass to Olenek. And it's sent back by Millsap. Great block from Millsap, sending that one back. Jokic finds Millsap. His three-pointers off the mark. Not great numbers. But great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. And here's Bradley from three. Porter pulls it in. Denver's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Back to Jokic. 
in for his seventh make in 14 tries. Mid-range game as Jokic spotted himself up and drilled that one. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Wood. Lock at six. Baseline try, and the jumper is on the mark. Wood's got eight points in the quarter. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. And the pass to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Here's Bradley. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Rivers finds Millsap. Well, Millsap completely fools the defense there and gets hit as a result on the shot. Shooting for Denver, Paul Millsap. At the line for two. Two shot. The first free throw is good. So both teams changing it up here. And so Paul Millsap nails both of them. The Rockets have gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. down the first one. Bowl, he's checked in for Denver. Both shots good from the stripe. And Denver has possession. Morris with the ball. Astonaji. Back to Morris. Six on the shot clock. The shot misses. Bradley with some nice D. Jeffries the pass to Lamb. Bradley can't get it to go. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. D.J. Augustine's checked in for Houston. D.J. Augustine. Houston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. Morris passes to Porter. Here's Najee. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. He's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And the athleticism and size of Porter creates problems for the defense. Hard to guard without getting physical. First free throw is good, so it's both teams making substitutions here. And Porter drops them both. And it's Bradley with the ball for the Rockets. He dishes it to Porter. Shoots from the high post. That shot misses. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. 
Campazzo. And the layup's good off the glass. And he found the soft spot in the D on that possession. The Rockets shooting uh, about 47% here in the fourth. Bradley dishes to Porter. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Porter finds Gordon. Pass to Rivers. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Rivers has got four points in the quarter. That's what you get with a bigger guard, a guy that can carve out a little bit more space, and Rivers does a good job that time. Here's Wood, and it's sent back by Jokic. And it's out of bounds to the Rockets as Houston retains possession. And it's sent back by Jokic. And they'll keep possession. 136 left to play in the final quarter. Campazzo lays it up and banks it in. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Nuggets. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And these guys already with 45 wins on the year. So tonight we'll make it 46. And they cap off the season series with one more win. It's been nothing but W's four straight. And something we've come to almost expect is greatness from this guy. Such an overall great performance it was for Jokic. You can set a tone with defense, and that's exactly what he did with how he protected the rim. Now here's Bradley. Jokic grabs the miss. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Yeah, the defender all over. At the line for your Nuggets, Akundo Campazzo. At the line for two. Two shots. First one falls for him. He hits both from the strike. There's 14 seconds left to play here in the fourth. To the inside, here's Jeffries shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his second personal foul, fifth team foul. Shooting for Houston, Aquan Jeffries. Two shots. Oh, take a break, take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. And he's good on the second. And so it's Denver taking care of business in this was a tale of two teams tonight one that was in total control operating flawlessly and the other just searching for answers that they could never find i mean the energy here is just so tremendous fans involved from the get-go and once they started to really pour it on it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective 
And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Nicola, not much time to enjoy this win with another game tomorrow, so how do you get ready? Yeah, uh, I think we just need to uh, be aggressive. I think if we start the game really good, we could give our, uh, ourselves a chance to win a game, and we hope we're going to do that. Well, man, appreciate your time, and congrats on this win. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.